Hello everyone, this is Fahim. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can create our database using MySQL query command. All right. So uh, for this entire playlist, I will try my best to use only a single IDE. You can say that. And that is MySQL workbench. This thing you are seeing right now. And don't worry, this is completely free. And I would make sure to provide you the content about how you can install this MySQL workbench on your machine. Right. Now, before jumping into the session, let me tell you something that MySQL programming language by default is case insensitive in Windows and Mac operating system. But generally, we consider it as case sensitive in Linux machines. All right. So that's how it goes and i would try my best to let you know some important things during uh, my videos during the ongoing playlist all right so after opening it you might see this sql additions box if you want to hide it you have to simply click here all right if you click there it would close that window for you now this thing or you can say this panel is the query panel here we type and execute the query commands mysql query commands all right and here you see we have two sections in this navigator one of them is the administration section and the other of them is the schemas when we create our database we get a new schema all right so make sure to select these schemas because you have to see your database right here all right now after installing mysql workbench you would see this sys database it is a by default database mysql workbench uses it to process our queries so i would request you not to delete it all right now for example i want to create a new database i know that in mysql workbench you can definitely use the gui i mean you can uh, click here and click uh, and you can also create new schemas or something like that using the GUI way but that's not the target of this playlist as I am going to teach you how to work with MySQL query commands and therefore I would try to stick with the MySQL hard-coded typing language all right but I would also try to show you the GUI ways so that you can use them whenever you want or you feel the necessity of them all right so let's say I want to create a database so i have to use create and I, as i want to create a database so database and i have to provide the database name all right now here let's say i want to create a database named student database so i can create something like this and make sure to use a semicolon after finishing our query statement it specifies that this statement or you can say this query command has been terminated here all right now if i want to execute this query command i have to click here execute the selected portion of the script or everything if there is no selection all right if i simply click here you see create database student database one row affected and i have got a green mark here that indicates that this query script has been executed successfully now i know Although we have created a database named the student database, I'm not seeing the database right here. I should see it right here, right? Yes, you'd see it right here if you simply reload this. So after making changes, you can simply click here. It would reload it and you see I have got my student database right here. As I have already told you that we consider the MySQL query language as is insensitive. That means you can obviously use capital letter or a small letter or vice versa. Or you can mix them it doesn't matter actually but in linux you have to make sure that you are executing them using the case sensitive way all right for example let's say i want to create another database i can write it like this create database and database name let's say my new database and if i simply click here green mark this query script has been executed successfully if i simply reload it you see my new database here i have used mixed form capital letter and a small letter if you want you can also do it like this create data base and the database name let's say 
on him d d yeah as i have told you that we consider mysql as case insensitive specifically for windows and mac machine you can obviously do this but i would suggest you not to do that because in programming language there are some conventions right so let me first to show you whether it works or not if i simply execute it you see green check mark if i simply reload it you see 5 db so it works now as i was telling you earlier you shouldn't use these type of things i know you can use these type of things it won't cause any harm but as we would try to follow the some conventions the professional developers use around the world so we should stick to some type of convention right so what i would do uh throughout the entire course is that during the keywords if we use keywords the fixed words in mysql query they highlight it differently uh let's say blue color most probably if i'm not mistaken right whether i mean whenever i would use the keywords in mysql i would use all of them in uppercase so if i simply want to create a database i would use this create database and the database name let's say uh last database execute it green check mark reload you see my new database is right here so that's how we can create any kind of databases using mysql all right so this is for today in the next video i'm going to talk about how you can delete a database now before deleting the database i have to show you how you can make a database the default schema otherwise you can't work on that because whenever we work on a lot of databases uh, there is a possibility that you are altering a database but you are altering a different database that you shouldn't done all right so i have to show you how you can select a database specifically as the default one and work on that in the next video so till then take care